What's going on everyone? Uh, welcome back. Thanks for watching. Uh, if you subscribed, we appreciate you subscribing. Uh, this weekend, it's April 23rd and we're uh, headed to Petticoat Junction. Uh, just waiting for the kids to get off school. I'm going to get ready to load the truck up right now and uh, we'll meet you in the car. So stay tuned and uh, we're going to do a review of this campground. It's in Cedar Run, Pennsylvania. So we'll let you know. All right, so we're all hooked up. Easy enough. Uh, waiting for the family to get home. Got about 30 minutes before they get home. And then we'll be headed to Petticoat. So uh, let's cue the music and then we'll see you in the truck. <laughs> Junction. We just hit Route 287. Uh, we're going to throw up a picture of the route that it normally would take from Wellsboro, Pennsylvania, out 287 to 414, straight out to Petticoat. It's that about is 20... in Cedar Run, Pennsylvania. Yep, Cedar Run, Pennsylvania. That's about 28 miles from Wellsboro, but it's kind of back road, so it travels like about an hour. We did find out, however, this week when we were doing some, some research that um, it looks like there's a, a bridge out. So the road that we have to take, we'll throw a picture up of the, the detour. That bridge is going to be out until November. So we got some switchbacks we got to make, and then uh, we'll see when we get there. We'll try to show you some of these bridges and see uh, what size rig we think uh, could make it through there. So we'll talk to you in a couple minutes. So we met up with our friends, and now we are uh, going through Morris right now. We got some radios. Uh, so we can communicate through some of these tight spots. There, one thing to note: there is no service out this way, none. Yep, completely. That's why we have the walkie-talkies. Yep, absolutely. So we are hitting the detour right now. Riley, you have to hold it down. Riley has to hold it down. <laughs> I want to talk to Riley. Hi. All right. So we are starting the detour now. See how this goes. Bye bye. Nothing over forty feet. I didn't see that sign. What are we? Fifty three. See that back side? This is nervous about passenger side. Yeah, just go back to the easy. Yeah. Keep, keep going, you're good, keep going. She's gonna jump out, she can watch both of us. Yeah, you're beautiful. Keep her going, keep her going. All oh. see that sign that said 40 feet? Come on now. Come on, we had five more feet on either way. They just don't know what kind of drivers we are. So we made it to Petticoat. Uh, we're here at the office at the check-in. 
Looks pretty neat. Uh, you got a cool little little fire area here. And the office is like a caboose. Kind of neat. So. One thing I will say is the traffic was um, not very uh, considerate. They were a little bit fast coming around some of them corners. If you're hauling a rig and you're going as slow as you can, uh, you still had some close calls. But once you get down here, you can do it. You just gotta take your time. Know your truck. And uh, yeah, we're here now. So let's get checked in and get parked. Well, uh, it's our first morning here at Petticoat. Got pretty chilly last night. Uh, trip in was pretty stressful. A lot of uh, switchbacks and tight bridges, but um, I definitely wouldn't go bumper pull over 30 feet and try to get across those, for sure. Right. Uh, we're gonna do a tour today, walk around a little bit, hit the rails for trails, um, and just it's a gorgeous campsite and the area is beautiful once you're here. Uh, again, nothing over 30 feet to get through some of those winding, those tight curves and narrow roadways. But it's beautiful here yeah. once, once you, you get, get here. here. <laughs> yeah, the country's gorgeous. Got these giant hills behind us just straight up. Uh, nice slow running stream, Pine Creek. Watch a lot of people catching fish. So pretty relaxing so far. Let's see what there is to do. Yep, we're going to take a walk through the campground and maybe show you some of their sites and what they have here. And then we're going to go for either a hike or a bike ride, I think. So, let's check it out. Nice down here. Popsicle. Good spot to swim for the kids. Got these cool rock cliffs. Cut out. Just gorgeous. Got the that's the bridge we came in on over there. It's pretty neat looking. Makes you wonder like why they didn't go kind of the same path as the uh, the gold train tracks for a road. Like why they decided like Let's go here. Let's carve it in now. Uh, it's probably one of those deals like, you know what, Dad? I'm going to put this road <laughs> where I want. That's right. Crazy. Go over on this mountainside and carve it away. Yeah. Like, the support on that side, though, is, like, awesome. So it's neat for your primitive. You can put your tent up on these wood chips. Keep you dry like a raised garden bed for your tent. It's really nice. I've never seen a campground where they utilize like that where you can park sideways. So let's check out is this a bathroom yeah. bathhouse? Yeah. Yeah. And it has oh, a pavilion on it. Yeah. So this is like a recreational area. Looks like it was just built. Brand new. Let's go check it out. The new owners have owned this for five years. Oh, it is laundry. Yep. Oh, yeah. They have laundry. The things you think are awesome when you're an adult. <laughs> oh my god, you can do laundry. Let's check it out. $1.50, it's reasonable. $2. Fluff and fold. That's cool. Nice little pavilion out here. Yeah. Pretty sweet. Got electric on the edge, so if you were trying to cook and uh, it was 
raining or something, you could bring your pellet stove out here. Yeah. It is. Yeah. So just outside of the pavilion, which is pretty cool, clean, brand new. We got like this common area for having fires. Pretty cool. Horseshoe pit. Oh, this would be your dump station. Yeah, I was looking for it. Where's it? Way up in the top. Oh yeah. I'll have to get the other camera out for that. Pretty cool, huh? Good eye. Well, let's go. Let's go find out. Easiest, quickest route, it's right there. <laughs> Clean. Don't pick sewage at arrival. Uh, is it sad that when we came here, our kids are like, Mom, Dad, there's a spot for your beer cans. Because they got aluminum recycling. <laughs> That's, that's our kids. So there's actually two dump stations. That's, well, you gotta dump them. Uh, yeah. So you have to go through. These are pretty sweet. Have you been in these ones? Are these clean? I don't think I should just like run a camera through. Yeah, they're nice though. I think I'd get some looks if I ran the GoPro into the bathroom, but I'm assuming they're gonna be clean. Septic. Yep. You got firewood, they'll deliver it to your site in them bins. Pretty neat. Look at that tree. Kayak rental, they fill your propane. Firewood bundles or firewood bins, buckets or a bag. Twelve dollars for a bucket. It's pretty nice actually. Yeah, kayak rentals. America. Yeah, pretty nice. get around and uh, go take a look at the uh, bike trail, rails for trails, uh, go see what that's got to offer.
go to jail. Yeah. That's a cop car. Oh, yeah. Alright, so we're getting ready to hit the trail. So it's just uh, right down from the office. A little bit of a hill, and then once you get up there, it's supposed to be nice and flat. Get her peanut. All right, now go speed racer. Took a little bike ride down that Rails for Trails. Brings you to this beautiful little general store. Got some awesome uh, ice cream. Got some cool knickknacks, shirts, memorabilia in there. And then right on the other side, you got this uh, Cedar Run Inn. Uh, just went up to the door and looked at the menu. It looks like real reasonable prices, but uh, we've heard good things about this place too. So if you're in the area, there's uh, plenty of fine food and some ice cream. Pretty neat little, little area. Phone booth, outside, walk-up window, dining area, pretty neat. So, a lot to do here so far. How's your ice cream? Delicious. <laughs> so that's it, about a half mile bike ride to the general store where you can get ice cream and see the bald eagles. And uh, not too bad of a ride for the kids. Blacktop the whole way, no traffic, hardly any traffic. So pretty neat. Check it out, Petticoat Junction. Great place, actually. All right, guys. So um, it's Sunday now, the 25th, and we had packed up. Um, but it's beautiful out, so we're going to unload the bikes from the camper, and we're going to head down the bike trail again. Uh, there was an eagle flying around yesterday, and I think we know... We've been talking to some locals, and I think we know where the nest is. So we're going to try to find and get some pictures of them. But, yeah, we packed up, but um, I think we're going to enjoy this last day here at Petticoat and uh, hit that rails for trails again. Uh, yeah, see if we can get some cool pictures. Fog burn off. Looks like it's going to be a beautiful day. So let's get these bikes off and get down the trail. So I'm with my buddy Derek. I'm getting ready to go across the bridge. There's some, some eagles that are nested in here, so we're gonna try to find them with the big camera. Mm -hmm. Let's go find them, bud. Let's go find them. You excited? Did you have a good weekend? Yeah. You like it here? Mm -hmm. Pretty neat, huh? Yeah. Okay. Cedar Run Bridge. Oh, yeah. At least he's sitting up there. I don't see the nest. Derek, off to the side, babe. <clears throat> okay. We're going to get the big camera out. But those are perched right there on the pine tree. Get him to look, Andy. Shook his tail feather 
Sorry, he did. He knows we got a Jayco Eagle. We'll tell you he did look. So all right guys, uh, we've got to spend a little bit of time here um, at Petticoat Junction. And um, we're gonna do like our, our take on the campground. Um, so we made a list of a couple things that we'd like um, to go over. And I guess we'll start with your amenities. Amenities. <laughs> Why don't you start with coming into the campground? Okay, we'll start with coming into the campground. Okay, so our biggest concern, so this is in Cedar Run, Pennsylvania, and we're coming in from the Wellsboro side. So we're going to put up a map of uh, the route that it would normally take you out 287 to Morris and then 414 along the creek. Um, but we found out that there is some construction happening on that 414, so there's a detour. So you're going to go up 414 a little bit farther, and then you're going to take, um, follow the detour signs. Don't go by the um, the chair shop because that is not where you want to be hauling your fifth wheel camper. That's how we came in, so we were kind of scared to death. The detour that's up a little bit farther um, is, is super easy actually, pretty flat, no big hills, no real bad switchbacks or anything. There's going to be one bridge when you get on 414 back after the detour. Um, that is in Blackwell, yep, in right Blackwell. before Cedar Run. Yep, so it is. It, it's like a 45 and then it straightens out and then when you get across the bridge it's almost a 90 degree so you, if you really don't have very far there's a little bit of pull off where you can go past the road uh, our total rig is 52 feet it's a fifth wheel obviously and that is about as big as I would dare uh, get across there so you, you just can't get past the bridge very far before you have to make that corner so just be mindful of that. If not, you'd have to come in from the Jersey Shore side down 414, um, which, you know, we there was plenty of big campers there, destination campers and, and fifth wheels and motorhomes. So there is another way to get in from that, that other side. So uh, if you're coming from the Wellsboro side, at least until November, you're going to have to go around the detour. And then even after the detour, you're going to have to watch out for that bridge. It's a little bit tight, quite tight. So coming uh, up to the campground in Cedar Run, as you're driving straight ahead, the road cuts back and that's how you get pulled into the campground. Um, if you go a little bit further up the road, there is a church parking lot that you can turn around and go in that way because there is no way you'd be able to make that cut into the campground. Even leaving. So even yeah, leaving, even leaving yes. you have to, you can't think about making that corner, but it's real convenient. You go up the road a quarter of a mile and there's a church pole uh, parking lot. And then we didn't even think about that. Depending on what time you leave, usually on a Sunday, uh, there could be people in that parking lot. So if you go down just a little bit farther, there's even a recycling spot where you can get turned around. So there's a couple options, but definitely if you're coming in from the Wellsboro side, you're going to want to go past, turn around at the church and then come into it. Uh, okay, so next, I would say, which one do you want to cover next? Now the amenities? Let's do the amenities at the campground, yes. They have a ton of stuff there. Um, so firewood, you get a whole big barrel for $12, which is, I thought, very reasonable. They have huge propane tanks. Um, inside the office, they do offer movie rentals. Um, if you're there on a rainy day because it is very much an outdoorsy haven yeah, place. Okay. There's fishing, kayaking, I mean that. Hiking, biking. But, yeah. Um, they have ice. They do have kayak and canoe rentals also which their prices were very reasonable. I think it was $30 a day. Mm -hmm. And they also have bikes that you can rent. Um, there is a trail there um you will want bikes the rails for trail goes through there beautiful country big bridges across the rivers just cool it's super flat for the kids our daughter's six and she, she had a blast on the bike trail yep she still uh has her training wheels on her bike and she had no problem riding through that trail uh one thing to note there is zero cell phone service they do have Wi-Fi by the playground and by their office. 
Uh, they do offer Wi-Fi at your individual campsite, but it is at an additional fee. Um, so the actual uh, campground, super clean, very well taken care of. Uh, they've done a lot of work, so, so the, the owners now, I think in the last couple of years, have purchased the, the campground. They put a lot into it, you can tell. They've got new bathhouses, I mean brand new. They have uh, three dump stations, so um, your sites go anywhere from primitive to um, water and electric, uh, and then you have to dump when you leave, but it's super convenient the way they have it set up. Uh, the bathhouses are super clean. Uh, they've actually cleaned them in the morning and night. I'm super. <laughs> super excited. <laughs> so they have, I think, four bathrooms. Now you got me off. One's a laundry room. One is a um, cup. <laughs> Everything's super good. <laughs> it's a lot of supers. <laughs> it's our first one. I want him to like us. No, okay. okay. <laughs> so... so let me finish the uh, bathhouse, I guess. Okay. The, the, the bathhouses are really clean. They were cleaning them in the mornings and at nights, I was noticing. Uh, they're heated. They have hot showers. They're metered showers, so you, you pay uh, quarters to get your hot shower. Dump stations are super convenient. There's three of them, so it's super. E it's really easy to uh, unload and get out of there when, when you're ready to leave. Um, they got volleyball nets, outside pavilion. Uh, the laundry room, um, everything was was just really, I mean, for, it was really nice. Yeah, it was a very nice campground. The creek that runs through there is really wide, and the first section of it is pretty shallow. There were a ton of people trout fishing in there, and Hagen fished almost the entire time he was there. He loved it. Um, to catch the fish, you kind of need to get out in deeper mm -hmm. with waders, um, but... So bring your own waders. Yeah. Yep, would definitely be a, a benefit to uh, fish in that section of the river. So other than that, uh, we do want to mention how friendly the staff are and how friendly the seasonal campers are. They are just really nice people. We were kind of taken back. One lady came up and asked if she could take a tour of our camper. <laughs> and, and I, it just threw us off a little bit. And then next thing you know, my husband's going into some other lady's camper taking a tour of her te destination trailer, which is just very cool. We all wanted <laughs> to see it, and I got the invite, so it was definitely really nice. But, um... We yeah, were able to see bald eagles there. We'll include uh, some pictures of those. Very cool. They were pretty close. Um, so we will include pictures of that. One Osprey. thing... So to... Osprey fishing, too? Yep. Right as you enter the campground, there is a general store and um, a restaurant, the Cedar Inn yep. Hotel and Restaurant. We didn't eat at the restaurant. We, from people we've spoke with, it is a gourmet meal. You've got several dishes coming your way, and their prices, they had the prices um, on the window, and they are actually really reasonable yep. too. One yep. thing to note about that restaurant, they are only open Friday and Saturday evenings. And from what I understand, you do want a reservation if you plan on eating there. Yeah, yep. that was something for the kids to do too. You, there's two ways to get to it. You could take the rails for trails or you could take the actual path that um, leads into the, from the road that leads into the campground. Yep. So it's super easy for the kids. Very short bike ride to the ice cream shop. Uh, for the Cedar Run area, one thing to note, it, it is known for rattlesnakes. Um, we were there in April, or it's April yeah. now, and we didn't see any because it's just too cool. But that area is known for rattlesnakes. Um, I am not sure if they have too many problems with them in the campground. So I asked them and they said that they actually, they don't generally come into the campground. Every okay. now and again, yes, but you usually see them out on the trails. Okay. Hmm. Is there anything else? I don't think so. I think it was just a really good weekend. I was surprised that it's so close to where we're at, where yeah. we live. I've Some never of the, the, just the view is awesome. Oh, the gosh. red rocks that are, that you see coming into the campground, yeah. just 
amazing views. Very beautiful country. You feel like you're out of state. You do. Like you're going in. It's it's a really gorgeous country. The playground uh, equipment that they had there is, yeah, that's got to be brand new. Yeah. Yep. And their office is actually made out of an old train car, which yeah, I thought funny. was very cool. Um, once you're there, I don't foresee you leaving there. Um, just because it's so far out of the way from any local town. Uh, so make sure you come with what you need. Yep. Yeah. Well, as far as like your camping supplies, like you mentioned, your firewood, your ice, your propane, any of that stuff they have there. They, they have a have little that. store inside the caboose, inside their office, if you, you know, forgot something. But um, yeah, it's definitely an outside campground where you're going to be hiking, biking, fishing, hunting, yeah. your state game lands all around. There is not any, at when we went, there have, were not like any organized um, activities like tr uh, wagon rides or, there's nothing like that. You've kind of got to make it your own. They, you know, they don't... The bike trail will keep you busy, yeah. the fishing. It is, it's, yes. Yeah, there's, um, yeah, you definitely got to um, find your own adventure, if you will. Like, yeah, there's right. no tractor rides or anything, but there's enough to do there. Oh, absolutely. So. Yep enough to keep you busy for big yard so you can bring football or something yeah, a while well that's our, our review i guess if you will overall i think we go back in a heartbeat now that we we've would. made that bridge a couple times um just be mindful if you're heading that way take your time have someone get out and watch your back uh end of your camper but i think it was i'm a little upset that i didn't know about it before it was, <laughs> it was nice so uh hope you that answer any questions um, about that area or that particular campground. So stay tuned. Next week we're heading to Bucktail. We are. So if you have any questions on this campground, go ahead and comment and we will get back to you yep. as soon as we can. Next week we are headed to Bucktail Campground, which is not very far from our house at all. Um, and we have heard some exciting news about that place. So yep. we're kind of interested in checking that out. Maybe talking to the people and seeing. Mm -hmm confirming before we make it YouTube sensation okay. that's not real. <laughs> so. I think they have a sign on the outside entrance. Oh, do they? I don't know for sure, but uh, we'll, we'll check We're going to find out. <laughs> Mark my words. I don't think this is going on the YouTube video. <laughs> well, okay. Thanks for watching. Um.